What are you doing, Chloe? <laughs> All right. As many of you know, this is my log home with uh, some rock accents. Family and I all come together and built this, one of nine of them. And uh, I've done something else, but it wasn't building. I actually just wrote a check this go around. It got me another house. Look at that. This is what's called the Deanne's Rose design. It's a little trailerable houseboat designed by Roy Schreier. Roy, I apologize if I got that last name incorrect. I am country. I have been searching the internet for over a year looking at specs on houseboats. My intention is to travel around and visit as many beautiful lakes around here as I can. So obviously the houseboat has to be trailerable. The other thing is my vehicle is a Dodge Ram 1500 Hemi. So I'm restricted by the, the weight a little bit. Since it's a half ton truck and not a three quarter ton truck, I'm a little bit restricted on the weight, so I've got to be careful. And that's where it was getting me at. The other trailerable houseboat I was looking at was called a Yukon Delta. And it also sets up pretty high, but my goodness, the weight on that thing was pretty much maxing out the, the weight limits on my pickup truck. And I really didn't want to do that for several reasons. Safety being the primary and the other wearing out my transmission. So I pretty much decided that this is going to be the ideal design for me. And it took a little while, but uh, I've been watching a couple of them on the market for about a year. And I just kept on eyeballing them and eyeballing them. And finally, finally I went and looked at one and pulled the trigger on it. So this houseboat, the hull comes in at 8 feet 1 inches wide, length is 21 foot and 3 inches. This design is a, has some modifications from Roy's design. All six side windows open up. It has electrical winches front and back. It's powered with a 4 stroke 30 horsepower engine, Suzuki. So I got lots of power as a transducer there. Previous owner, I guess the wind got a little crazy on them and uh, they came in sideways and busted up the uh, boat rail and it also bent some brackets. I got a, a bunk bracket back here that got bent in a 90 degree angle that I've already taken off. The boat rail bracket was bent a little bit so I've got it in the shop and, and working on it. I've already purchased another board. I've got it painted black and I'm waiting for it to cure out. So I'll be replacing that. The good thing with this being home built, I can literally come in here and fix every single thing that I need. Everything on the trailer, you can order online if, if you can't repair it in your shop. Boat has awnings on both sides that swing out and then come down and totally cover the windows on the sides. And it also has curtains. Got a lock box here. This lock box can, has a, an additional 12 volt battery. And then on the other side, it has a maceration pump for pumping out the, the black water. Which brings me to the point that this boat also is equipped with fresh water, gray water, and black water tanks. So that's excellent. All right, got some nice steps going up here. Got an electric winch for bringing the boat up on the trailer. There's also in this box, there's the uh, original manual winch. Got a nice forward deck out here. These port and starboard are rod holders. And then you got a mount for the bow. The bow light is pretty awesome. I've actually never seen one like it. It's not only navigation lights, but it's also a spotlight and it's all remote control operated. Up on the roof, we have the VHF radio antenna, two solar panels and a vent. Also at the far end down there is the hookup for outdoor shower on the aft section of the vessel. Got a nice little pretty curve here. I've got to do a little bit of touch up. Previous owner got a little crazy with the sprayer and knocked some paint off, but they gave me all the original paint also. So the front door has dead bolts, nice stainless steel knob. Windows come off and can be replaced with screens. Stepping inside, look at that, isn't that pretty? Look at all that woodwork. Okay, as I said, all six windows fold up and they latch onto these right here. I really like these. They're nice and sturdy and they hold the windows well. These have a lot of space up under the bow. 
This section here slides down the hallway, allows you to move these seats into the center, drop the back cushions, and this turns into a queen size bed. I don't know that I'll ever do that. I will probably use these as single berths. And what I may do is make a modification, take out this shelf here, leave this as just a step, and then I may put a mattress back into the bow there, create another small bunk single berth in that area there, if needed. The helm, got your controls for your outboard, also has tilt and trim for that outboard. Remote controls on either side for the anchor, VHF radio, fish locator. It'll also tell you what depth you're in. Not that that's a great big issue with this vessel because this vessel only drafts six inches. Got some horns laying around here. Looks like there's another one down there. Storage space. A huge amount of storage space. Plenty of room for linen, first aid kits, all kinds of kits, whatever you want to put down there. Also life jackets, make sure you're legal. Not sure exactly how many people this boat is rated for. This boat is longer than the original Deanne Rose design, which is 17 foot. This is slightly over 21 foot. Got a wasp there I gotta take care of. Got a vent. Nice bright LED lights. Got a TV here that swings down. Just like that. Some Boss speakers along with the Boss radio. That is located back here. So we got the Boss radio, have our control panel, accessory anchor light, water pump, fresh water, nav lights, radio. Solar charging panel right here, closet. Lots of empty space in there for stuff. Got an inverter, nice big inverter down there. And two more marine batteries. Port side closet. Lots more storage, propane, and more storage down there. Now our galley, really like this galley. Let me see if I can turn a light on here. All right, this is our galley. Three burner stove with an oven. Microwave, got a single sink and some nice tile work all around here with a port window. Stern lamp here, fire extinguisher, make sure we keep everything legal. Oh, let's see what we got. We got a nice big water pump down there. That's our fresh water tank. I don't know if the camera's going to focus in on it, but there it is. Got a little removable shelf here that's got cleaning supplies. Aft storage section. And you have your dedicated battery for the outboard engine. Now the head. If I do that right. Have another port window. Nice big mirror, and we have a marine head, pump style head. This, uh, this pulls water from the lake. We have an access panel here with one through hull down there, one nice big brass through hull. That's something you want to check when you launch a boat, just make sure you don't have any water coming in. That's the only location where you might have water egress. Um, aftermarket air conditioner put in here. Has a it vents the heat out and it's set up to where it'll blow it out one of these port windows if you want to. Aft section, aft deck. Come out here again. Windows can be removed and replaced with a screen facing downhill, so that door's gonna swing. All right, coming out here, we've got a nice big chrome swim ladder that telescopes down into the water. Cleats, black water pump out. Freshwater inlet, rod holders, another winch, gas tank, and then we got a little well for the uh, for the outboard down there where it has the gas lines, all that good stuff. Shower for outdoor showering. Stern light mounts up here. This is our other. Oh, I need to wash that off a little better. Another solar panel up here. I'm pretty sure these are 50 watt. If I'm wrong, somebody correct me on that. But that is the aft section, and this boat is called the Oasis. Look at that woodwork. I just absolutely love these curves. Beautiful, beautiful work done. A lot of attention to detail in here. I don't know that I'm gonna do just a whole lot more on the interior, maybe a little bit, but not much. The outside will require just a little bit of maintenance. Just starting to get a little bit of crack right in here. 
Now this thing is layered with fiberglass up here on the top, the deck, the outside of the hull is all fiberglass. But anywhere where you start to get a little crack like this, that's where you want to sand that down a little bit, get your paint back out and go over it and make sure and make sure that this is just paint crack and nothing else, not a, not a fiberglass crack. Um, I can almost guarantee you this is just going to be a paint crack. Also down here in the corners, another area you want to watch and make sure you don't have any cracks forming. Like I say, they're probably just going to be paint, but you got to keep your eye on it because this is a wood boat. Wood boat encased in fiberglass. All right, now taking myself down here. Something I forgot to mention to everybody. This little houseboat has what's called RV Plus. So both on port and starboard side, we have shore power. So we can hook up, and I have the adapters. I can hook up to a marina slip and run this whole houseboat on 110. I can put a generator on the backside deck, a little inverter generator, something that's nice and quiet, and run this thing off 110. Or I can even take this thing to a state park, to a camping site, and park it on the ground just like she is right now. And this, with the adapter, this will plug straight into a 30 amp post at the state park. So that's called RV Plus on that. I haven't taken this boat out yet. I want to make sure I re replace the guide rail. This is the obviously the good one. So anyways, that's the rundown on my new little houseboat. And there should be some uh, neat little adventures coming out in the future. All right, I'll see you guys later. Mm, bye.